Hey guys, Anselm with Surface Prep. I'm currently standing in a booth, specifically a powder coating booth. So today with Back to Basics, we're going to talk about powder coating. Let's go over to the equipment. All right, so there's a lot of different types of powder coating equipment out there. It really boils down to a couple of different basic types. There's Tribo style guns and Corona style guns, which is more common. That's what we're using today. Um, it allows us to do quick changes, allows us to do unique parts, but production parts as well. So it's a, it's a good overall kind of all-purpose gun. Um, we are using also a what's called box feed system. Um, you have hopper fed systems and obviously you can go up to you know, more production style. But for us, changing colors multiple times a day, a box feed system uh, is easiest for color changeovers, uh, cleanup, all those things come into play. So that's the type of equipment we're, we're set up with uh, for doing you know, small production and chop shop, quick changeovers, that kind of thing. So, I'm going to load up this gun and, and show you guys a couple things about the part and application. Alright guys, it's a little loud in here because we've got the booth on. Make sure that uh, we're drawing that power across this room. Uh, now that I've got my part cleaned in ground, uh, ready to apply powder. So I want to make sure that I don't start the gun right on the part. I want to make sure that I'm away from the part as I pull the trigger on the gun. I'm going to allow the powder to start flowing and then I'll start to apply in a uh, sort of wave type motion. I like to do sort of a 50% pass as I go along the part to make sure that I get 100% coverage. And I'll do multiple passes right in different directions. So let's try that. the oven let's shut things down go inside and talk about a few things all right guys the part is cured so let's take a look it came out beautiful uh, this is obviously a matte black powder coating uh, very smooth coating very consistent got hundred percent coverage it's uh, almost ideal right so um, we wanted to powder coat a couple bad parts just so you guys can see what we're talking about when we're talking about cleaning and making sure that you're prepping the part properly. This part had a ton of debris on there uh, and it shows, right? So this is supposed to be a nice smooth glossy black powder coat and you can just see uh, bumps and stuff all over this. Uh, another thing that will come up quite often is oil uh, or even fingerprints in, in parts, right? So we want to make sure we're, we're taking proper care of that. Oil can cause things like craters or fish eyes or, or uh, pinholes in the, in the part which can cause premature failure. So as I wrap things up, I just want to make sure that kind of the three most important things to pay attention to when you're uh, powder coating is going to be number one, making sure you're prepping your part and keeping it clean. Number two is, a, is having a very good ground. And number three is making sure that you're following the manufacturer specs to cure um, the powder properly on that material. So thank you again so much for your time. Please visit surfaceprep.com. Call any of our locations. You can talk to any of our uh, coating experts and uh, we'd love to help you out with your application. Thanks.